So Jim is going to talk about a group of people who have been tracking these bolts. Talk about those folks, Jim. Yeah, the group is pretty special. They're part yeah. of the Georgia Tech Research Institute. They're using the lightning as a uh, chance to reveal clues about severe storms across the region. So we currently have operational LMA units at those uh, five locations. Welcome to the Severe Storms Research Center at GTRI. John Trostel is the director of the center, which has been in existence since 1999. Now, their mission is to find new ways to track and predict severe weather for North Georgia. Today, Trostel is explaining a large mapping array, or LMA, of data sensors currently in place to track lightning strikes. There's some research right now that's looking at um, what are the trends in the lightning that's in the cloud, the cloud to cloud lightning, and is that a precursor to the storms becoming severe? So can I look at the lightning trends and determine whether a storm will go tornadic or not. Um, so that's very important research, especially here in what they call Dixie Alley. The work done here at GTRI is taking place alongside similar work at the University of Alabama at Huntsville and will advance our capability of early detection and storm warnings. The array coverage will overlap. And so instead of just having um, data from Alabama and data from Georgia, we'll be able to track the storms as they go across the southeast and track them longer, um, track bigger storms, and determine more of their evolution. Right now, there are six LMAs in place with the hopes of expanding to 10 sites soon to increase that detection range. The RF signals are picked up on the antenna and transferred down to the box here along with a GPS signal mm -hmm. for time stamping. Um, and then they are filtered with a filter um, and then processed by this very small computer board. And that data then can come out over ethernet and come back to our main computer where we co collate all the data and determine where the different signals came from. As Director Trostel mentioned, this will be used to determine the severity potential in thunderstorms and the data one day will be disseminated to other agencies to help in their warning processes. We'll be able to map this lightning in three dimensions um, as well as in time. So that data then we'll be able to both um, give to the National Weather Service so they can use that to um, add to the utility of their radars. It's funny how we go from chasing storms to chasing lightning. Let's stick around next hour how the Institute is working on a new technique that may one day enhance our chances to predict tornadoes. That's a special report you'll see coming up at five o'clock. All right, Jim, thank you.